when you have a short meditation like this, you want to make the most out of it. So find one spot in the body where the breath is really clear. And tell yourself you're going to stay here and you're not going to go anywhere else. Of course, that's the same thing you're telling yourself when you're having an hour long or two hour long meditation. But those larger time frames are more forgiving. Slip off for a little bit, well, you've got plenty of time to come back. And that's the way sometimes we get kind of heedless and careless. But when you've got a short meditation like this, you can't spare any moment at all. You've got to stay right here, right here, right here. Be fully aware right here. The quality they call, in Pali they call jitta, it means giving your whole mind to it. In Thai they translate it as taking your heart and putting it into, into something. It means you really pay attention to what you're doing and really try to do it well. So give your whole attention to the breath, right here, right here. Even with the sound of the Dharma talk, just let it go past. You want to be right with the breath and how it feels in the body. Remind yourself you're not watching the breath, you're wearing the breath. It's all around you. And just try to maintain that focus, maintain that same intentness. And that way the mind really does get a chance to rest. You're putting energy into it, but you're getting a lot of more energy out. That way you can come out of the meditation and feel really refreshed. Because all the little muscles in the, in the head and the other parts of the body that have to be used for thinking get, get some time to get some fresh blood and to relax a bit. So when you have to start using them again, they're ready. It's like sharpening a knife. If you simply use the knife again and again and again, it's going to get dull. And you say, well, I don't have any spare time to sharpen the knife because I've got to use it to cut all these things. But the things aren't going to get cut well when the knife is dull. So you do have to take some time out, sharpen the knife, and then the work goes much more smoothly. So sharpen your mind. Be really intent right here. Because there will come times when you have to be f fully attentive to what you're doing. Like when death comes, you don't want to have a few random thoughts come in and pull your mind away from what's happening. The fact that the mind is no longer able to stay in the body. Your awareness is going to have to go someplace. Where's it going to go? You want to give that your full attention. Don't let ill will or bad memories or anything get in the way. You've got to be fully present right here. So. This is why the Buddha has you focus on the present moment, is because it's preparation for the skills you're going to need when aging comes, when illness comes, when death comes. Keep it in the back of your mind. You're doing this for the sake of those things. You're doing it for the present moment. That's true. You're giving your full attention to the present moment, but your motivation includes the fact that you've really got to do this well. Otherwise, you say, well, this is good enough for now. The question is, is it really good enough? Is good enough to die with? If not, okay, you make it better. That way you get the most out of this short meditation times that we have here. <laughs>